I'm going to talk, up, talk about, obviously, your in-depth analysis with the starting of KPL to begin with, and then we would definitely want to talk about uh, the match in, that, in which Tigers actually managed to defeat the Lions by five wickets on Tuesday. So what's your take on the overall development of KPL to begin with? Well, it's a big thing in the sense that uh, uh, there hasn't been much sporting activity uh, in the Kashmir region. Right. They're having it now. And uh, potentially, it could give Pakistan a summer venue uh, in the long run. Let's see how it shapes up. Uh, but uh, the numbers so far, I mean, the scores and all are pretty normal. I mean, right. there's nothing extravagant about them like we had in the Australia-Bangladesh series. So, which shows that uh, you can score runs there. Right. The matches are batsman dominated, which you would expect in a normal 2020 game. Right. So, this is all that can be said for now. Right. And in terms of obviously the new talent that we see, when we talk about obviously uh, the new talent led by, for instance, we talk about Kamran Akman le leading the Kothli Lions. Obviously, the entire team managed to score 195. But what about the new talent that's actually been, you know, out there and finally are given this opportunity to represent not only Kashmir, Pakistan itself, but obviously their sporting and uh, athleticism that they have in, in them? Well, it's too early to predict big things for them, but the fact that uh, it's happening, the fact that they are getting to play games, the, the fact that the bowlers are going to get some overs under their belt, uh, although uh, we'll see a lot more runs being scored there than wickets being taken, that's, that, has what the, uh, that has been the trend so far and it's likely to continue. So, uh, all of this is good, but we can't, I mean, it's too early to say how much of an impact it's going to be a have on Pakistan's bench strength. 